This is Archie number 295 in the Archie series from the Archie Comics Group. And it sold for 50 cents. And the mechanic says, what's wrong with the car? And Betty says, everything makes a noise but the horn. So it looks like once again, Archie's jalopy is falling apart on him. And this is from August 1980. And this title was published monthly by Archie Comic Publications during this time. And there's an advertisement for Hostess on the inside cover, Josie and Getting Noticed. Okay, we're off. We gotta be off to run 10 miles. Jogging is a great way to get Alan M to notice me, Puff Puff. He'll notice me. I'm the one with my tongue hanging out. I can't go one more step. I can't even get this Hostess fruit pie up to my mouth. Only smart move I made was to pack Hostess fruit pies, light, tender crust. Maybe the real fruit filling will wake me up. Did I hear someone say Hostess fruit pies? Oh boy, apple and cherry. Alan M isn't the only guy who noticed you. I think it was something they ate. You get a big delight in every bite of Hostess fruit pies. And they've got apple and cherry here. And here's Archie in the initial trouble. Yikes, I'm dead, I'm dead, dead, dead. Something is amiss, number one son. This letter in Dear Blabby, signed A.A. of Riverdale, complains about a rich, conceited, bossy girlfriend. Why did you use your own initials? <laughs> it's not mine. I didn't write it, I swear. It. But who's going to believe me? Who, indeed? I'll skin him alive. I'll break him into pieces and pieces into pieces and feed him to the hogs. Something upset you, love? Look, look at this letter in Dear Blabby's column. Egad. I can't believe Archie would do that. Maybe you're jumping to conclusions. Don't make excuses for the weasel, Daddy. How many AAs are there in Riverdale with rich, conceited, bossy, or scratch that last part. <laughs> He's giggling. Why, that almost convinced me you were right. I'm never, ever going to see that worm again. Uh, love bug? And there he is in a window. Get off my wall, you insect. Not until you listen to me. A moose varmint. Splash. So she pours a bucket of water on him. I'll be the laughing stock of the whole town. Bong, bong. Rapid delivery, sir. Package for Mr. Lodge. I'll handle this, Smithers. So it's like a, he's like coming in with a giant package, like a wall, so they won't see him. Do you think I don't recognize your voice, you poison pen pest? I didn't do it. You should let him defend himself. There's no defense for what he did. I've got some clout. I'll call dear Blabby. Yes, I know it's confidential, but I promise you it will go no further. If the letter writer was not Archie Andrews, you're ruining an innocent boy. You have my word as a major stockholder in your newspaper syndicate. Thank you. I thought you might see it my way. AA is Andy Ascot. He lives across town. It's not Archie. You must never reveal what I just told you. I gave you my word on that. I gave my word on that. I heard that. You have proof it wasn't me. I'm not the only AA in town, and you're not the only rich, conceited, bossy girlfriend. Slam. So she threw him out. Maybe I should have worded that differently. And here's an advertisement for Bubble Yum. Uh, new soft and juicy Bubble Yum Wild Cherry Bubble Gum. Five great flavors and sugarless. Here's Little Jinx Chum Charlie and Pick Sticks. I finally finished a painting of your teacher, Charlie. Thanks, Roz. Yep, it's a pretty good likeness, Roz. You're a mighty big person to want her picture after she failed you. Why did you want me to paint her picture? This is why. Thud, thud, thud. And he's throwing darts at her. Archie's gag bag. I've been trying to fix meals for your father that will fit into his diet. But it's so restrictive that between supper and breakfast, I don't know what to serve him anymore. Well, it seems to me if you want him to lose weight, you shouldn't serve him anything between supper and breakfast. Listen to this jug. Police yesterday investigated a report of a spaceship in the park. They described it as being like an overturned wastebasket with a bent coat hanger on top and tinsel tape to the sides. Ha ha ha, some hoaxers sure have a spacey sense of humor. That's what the police thought until it flew straight up and out of sight in two seconds. And here's an order form for Archie Annual Digest number 37. 
Kids, don't let this giant catch get away. Just fill out the coupon and your Archie Annual Digest number 37 will be mailed to you. You'll be reeling in a load of stories, puzzles, and fun in full color. And it was for $1.25, including the shipping. And here's an advertisement for Charles Atlas. The insult that made the man out of Mac. And here is Archie and Show Me the Way, story by Frank Doyle, art by D. DiCarlo Jr., inks Rudy Lapic, letters W. Rashida, Rish, sorry, Yoshida, I think, colors B. Grossman. Wow, this fog is really closing in. I can hardly see. Isn't it dangerous to drive in this? No, Betty. If it was half this bad, it would be dangerous. This is more like impossible. End of the road, folks. You can't drive if you can't see. Where are we? To coin a phrase, I haven't got the foggiest. For the last 10 minutes of driving, I didn't know where I was. I'm afraid we're going to have to leave the car here and go on foot. Uh, I've got a question. Shoot. Go where on foot? Any place we can find. Are you nuts? In this fog, I can't my no find the nose in front of my face. Now that's what I call a thick fog. It sure is. Humph, I'm surrounded by wise guys. Only one of us is a guy. But seriously, we've got to be careful. Right, we could walk into a tree, fall over a fence, go through a store window. It's an impenetrable fog, and you can't see through it either. For every problem, there is a solution. Okay, what's the solution to this one? A dog has an instinct by which it finds its way home from any place at any time, right? Humans are not dogs, if we exclude Reggie. True, but some of us have certain instincts above and beyond. Like who and like what? Allow me to demonstrate. Archie, Veronica, go fetch. Arf, wah, follow in his footsteps, trust his instincts. So they're climbing over a wall, they're running down a hill, um, they're jumping a little ravine. I can't believe it, right to Ronnie's door like a bloodhound. Have you three nuts been wandering around in that piece super? How did you ever find your way out? Some things defy explanation. I never had a doubt. You could do it blindfold. Blindfolded. Here's Archie's fashions. And um, work clothes, school fashion, tennis anyone, cross country ski outfit in casual fashion. Send your fashion ideas to Archie's Fashions. And here's an advertisement for the popcorn bag. Take a pack of reading fun for only $1 for boys and girls 7 to 13. Here's Archie in the debt beat. Here's a story by Frank Doyle, art by D. DiCarlo Jr., inks by Rudy Lapic, letters by W. Rashida, colors by B. Grossman. And so Archie's walking and he sees Jughead's hat on the other side of, a, I guess, a fence or ledge. He looks down and Jughead is bent over. Why? Why what? Why were you crouching behind that wall? Oh, that? Uh, exercise. Deep knee bends, toughens up the legs, expands the lungs, oils the joints, thins the waist. Jug, yeah, Arch. Why were you crouching behind that wall? Avoiding Reggie. I owe him a couple of dollars. Carry on, my sulking friend. Don't get me involved. Hold on to my hat, will you, Archie? Sure, but why? Reggie might spot it, just like you did. That dingbat. I'd be easier to, it'd be easier to pay the money. Aha! Gotcha! Yipe! Okay, where is he? Get off of me. I don't know where he is, and I don't want to get involved. I'll find him. Where's my hat? Reggie's got it. You get me in more trouble, Jug. Don't. Whoops. Well, he's got the brain of an ostrich. I knew if I followed him, I'd run into you eventually. I've got you this time, you deadbeat. Ha! That's what you think. Yipe! It knocks the table over. Hold it. Stop. Quit. Here. Here's the money Jughead owes you. Now shake hands and for Pete's sake, stop squabbling. He's a nice guy, but a real party pooper. Yeah, some people are always taking the fun out of life. The end. Here's an advertisement for 100 little dolls, all for $5. Here's Archie Club News. Membership is 50 cents. First prize is $6. Second prize, 
And there's the order form to become an Archie Club member. And that's for 50 cents. And there's an order form for Jughead Jones Comics Digest number 14. Total $1. Get your act together with Jughead Jones Comics Digest number 14 in full co color. Bound in a perfect long-lasting cover. Stories, puzzles, gags, fun, jokes. Then there's an order form for not two, but three for a dollar. Hey, this is an offer you can't refuse. The Archie series titles will cost 50 cents each from now on. Get with it. Order three comic books for the price of two or one dollar. This offer expires July 31st, 1980. And then it's got the titles listed there. Here's an advertisement for Strong Arms for five dollars. And reward $3,000 for this penny, 1943 copper penny. Here is Archie in Close Call. Story by Frank Doyle, art by Dan DiCarlo Jr., inks by Jimmy DiCarlo, letters by W. Yoshida, colors by B. Grossman. Veronica says, come Archie, daddy needs you. He just bought this new menswear company. Your father needs me? Right, I want you to model our line for young men. I want to know the reactions of your fellow teenagers. Golly, me, a model? You're not to reveal the source of your new finery or the fact that it's a test. Mum's the word, sir. Stop by every morning and change into the outfit we've selected for you. You betcha. Return after school for your afternoon outfit and once more for evening wear. Wow, three times a day. What a break. Thanks a million, Ronnie. I can't wait until morning. Neither can I. Oh, he's got his finger on her nose. And so, you look fine, son. It's a super outfit, sir. I'll bet this stuff cost a lot more than I could afford. You can be sure daddy wouldn't be into anything cheap. And you do look a lot more presentable than you usually do. And then Reggie says, wow, look at those threads. What did you do, pal, win the lottery? When you like to know, Archie, you look positively gorgeous. Elegant. Thank you, girls. This is the neatest setup I ever fell into. Free clothes three times a day. The reaction was great, Mr. Lodge. Everyone loved it. Fine, let's hope the next one goes as well. And Pop says, what's the occasion, Archie? I never saw you looking so grand. Nice, Arch, real nice. Wow. Oh, no, sorry. Now that you're rich, don't forget your old friends. And so on. You're very smartly dressed these days, Archie. Thank you, Miss Grundy. <laughs> then he gets whistled at. How about that? Pay no attention. And so on. Archie, you're getting to be such a fashion plate. Just beautiful. I like the way this is working out. I may make it a permanent job with a salary. I love it. I love it. You're a shrewd one, Archie. You knew somehow, didn't you? Knew what, sir? That a secret observer has been prowling the hall seeking out the best dressed teenage boy in town. Gulp, you mean? She selected you. You're going to be featured in a national magazine. You get a trip to Las Vegas and a date with a glamorous movie star. Oh, wow, I'm speechless. You're also clothesless. You're fired. I don't like the direction this thing is taking. Fire him. Are you mad? The publicity for my clothing company is priceless. You did fine, my boy. So and then they're watching on TV. Beautiful. How do you like the evening clothes? I wish she were wearing more of them. So there's Archie on TV. <laughs> And here's an advertisement for Poster Spectacular number 68, 20 by 28 posters, full color. An advertisement for Olympic Sales Club and advertisement for Sales Leadership Club. Thanks for watching.